See the cinematic host up front. They will seat you and hand you a film called The Menu in theaters on November 18th. This is a satire involving foodies, which is immediately ironic because foodies do a great job of satirizing themselves. The setting is a private island where world-famous chef Julian, Ray Fiennes, presents a multi-course and pretentious gourmet meal for an exclusive clientele who have spent five figures for the privilege. This includes Tyler Nicholas Holt, a Weasley food fanboy, and his date Margot, Anya Taylor-Joy, who doesn't understand the fuss. The rest of the diners are on mini Gilligan's Island, including the movie star John Leguizamo, the food critic Janet McTeer, the millionaire and his wife, Reed Bernie and Judith Light, and some background tech bros. As each course is served, there is a realization that the chef has brought them together for a reason, and that means danger is also on the menu. There is no focus in this story. It's difficult to determine whose story it actually is. Chef Julian and Margot are the highlighted characters, but neither really steps into the spotlight except vaguely. The rest of the players seem to be reliving the old famous short story, The Most Dangerous Game, in which humans were hunted for sport. None of the archetypes rise above their easy target personalities, and that is the main problem with the menu. It flits from course to course and focus to focus without having a theme or centerpiece, except to point out there are weird foodies and vain movie stars and wealthy people without morality, pretty much what everybody already knows. And strangely, the ending is tipped off early, but there seems to be a counter-salvation to that foretelling, and then the tables are turned back into the direction they were in the first place. So what's in the menu? Two and a half out of five in theaters beginning November 18th.